Mr. Speaker, I know for a fact that farmers are asking that minister to axe the carbon tax. That PM promised that the Senate would be independent, but the actions this past week prove that that is a complete farce. We know he bullied his senators. The PM himself was on the phone over the weekend telling them they had to gut Bill C-234. The Prime Minister lied and his minions continue to lie about whoa, whoa. the same time I did knows full well that you can't use that word. Yeah. I would say the Honourable Member should retract that and apologize. The Honourable Member Battle River Crowfoot. Mr. Speaker, I will not apologize to that Prime Minister when he continues to lie about the impact of the carbon tax and the so-called independence of the Senate. I'm asking the Honourable Member to apologize for the second time and retract that word. The Honourable Member knows full well you cannot use that word in this chamber. So this is the last, uh, this is the last opportunity. The Honourable Member of Battle River Crowfoot, will you be retracting that? It's the truth. It's the truth. Mr. I will not apologize to the Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Curick, would you mind leaving us today? He, st he stood up in what he believed in, and that's really good. Good for him. I support him, and I'm glad he didn't apologise to Trudeau. So let me, fill, let me fill this. I have to name you for the disregarding the authority of the chair. Pursuant to the authority granted by me, standing order 11, I order you to withdraw from the House from any participation by video conference for the remainder of this sitting day. But he did, uh, he did leave. I'm just going to take a bit of a break here.